want to get funny looks while you're in Germany, step outside the house in these. I always get funny looks here in Germany. Like from that guy. But then again, I get funny looks in New York too. Come to think about it, I get funny looks in Puerto Rico too. Maybe I'm just funny looking. Walking around and shooting some stuff in the neighborhood because I realized that yesterday's vlog might have not been so entertaining. And I apologize for that. I think that's one of the biggest challenges with the daily vlog is coming up with entertaining content every single day. I think you're gonna like today though. It's a great week. It's Story Sunday over here at the Hello Mr. Press blog. Yesterday I did a lot of talking. I think I want to keep it short today and I want to just keep it fresh with visuals so I don't bore you to death. I want to tell you a quick story and then I'm just going to show you because I can show you better than I can tell you. So my wife Jackie and I spent about almost a year living on a farm in Colombia and it's crazy the way that this happened. So I had a full-time job about two years ago, and I wanted to make the leap and go all in to Branded Humans. I told Jackie about it. She was cool with it. She made the leap with me, and we went all in with Branded Humans. And so we realized that New York City is probably not the most conducive environment for no money, <laughs> for lack of a better term. No, we had some savings. We knew that if we stayed in New York, we knew that it wouldn't give us the space to grow like we needed to. So at the same time, we had an opportunity to help a friend out with a music studio down in Florida. So we were there for six months, got the business up and running, and Jackie's grandfather got sick. He lives on this farm in Colombia, and everybody was here working. Nobody had the flexibility to go there and actually take care of him and take care of the farm. So me and Jackie kind of looked at each other and said, why not, right? Everything we were doing was kind of on a whim and kind of crazy. And we were just we, we had made the leap already. We left New York already. We were in Florida for six months. Columbia, why not? So we went there and it was amazing. Being on the farm was just incredible. We had cows, we had chickens, acres of property, and you could just explore within the farm. And I ended up planting 200 plantain trees and right now they're already giving fruit and we have rabbits and we had just all sorts of things and it was amazing the farm has no address and being so disconnected from just everything from the world really was incredible i would wake up really early in the morning or make some music go out into the farm fly my drone get some do some work around the farm and it was incredible so the next thing I'm going to show you is actually some clips of that. Here you go.
man, seeing that video makes me want to go back to Colombia so bad. We haven't been back there since, I think, March. Oh, man, so good. There's nothing better than just disconnecting from the whole world for a little bit, you know? So I hope you liked that. That was Story Sunday. You know, with this daily blog, I'm just trying to figure it out as I go, as we move along, as we progress day by day, just trying to see what direction we take this in. I think the most important thing is just to kind of do it, you know? Uh, we've been doing these interviews with different entrepreneurs, and that's the same thing I hear over and over again. Just start. Just do it. Just go for it. And speaking of just starting, we're actually going to meet with a friend, Coach Manolo, who wants to start his own YouTube channel about motivation, football, and cooking. I'm going to go talk to him, strategize a little bit, and hopefully eat some good stuff. See you tomorrow.